Here we have a 21 DLX Carolina Skiff uh, 2003 model that uh, I suspect has a waterlogged uh, issue underneath the floor. The way these boats are built, there is no drain because there is theoretically no way water can get underneath the floor. But as you see, no drain only, bailing holes. But as any Carolina Skiff owner knows, every time you drill a hole for anything, you compromise the floor. And no matter how well you try to seal it up, somehow over years and years, water seeps in, creating excess weight, which slows down the boat and makes it draft a little deeper. So today we are going to try and add some garboard plugs and i'll show you those in just a minute but we're going to have identified a couple of places on this on the back here that we're going to drill out and see if any water comes out and for for this purpose i've also jacked up the front of the boat as much as possible so that we have gravity doing its work so as you can see, it's jacked up pretty high. All right, before uh, we do any drilling, I wanted to mark off everything so it would be consistent. And so the drain, once again, is here. So I measured over two inches and up one inch on both sides so that it would look consistent and there really is no low spot on these boats because they are very very flat so um and did i say by the way i am not a professional and i don't know what i'm doing so uh wish me luck by the way for this drilling i will be using the Irwin speed bore one inch because it is the fastest speed bore ever. Well, here goes nothing. All right, a little spray water to cool things down. All right, here we go again, fresh battery. Well, the good news is we're... 
through. And the bad and the good news is it feels dry. It is dry. That's really good news. All right, here we go for the second one. I got smarter and put some rubber gloves on. All those little fiberglass pieces which get to my fingers. Let's try a different bit. Well, these boats typically have baffles that run horizontally, styrofoam baffles. But in this case, the bilge would interrupt that flow on this side. So for whatever reason, we've got water here, but not over there. But this is what we were worried about. Oh, Lord. So far, it's not that much, maybe half a gallon or so. All right, now let's see how wet this foam is. Well, after draining for uh, about 24 hours, we've almost Basically filled up five gallon bucket with the, uh, but only drilling about four or five inches in. So today I've got this uh, 12 inch extension and we're going to give it another try.
Well, the good news is after these two 12 inch extensions and the regular bit, I guess we're about 28 inches in and no real increase in fluid, just a little dripping. And, uh, but on the other side, it kind of started to drip about at the same rate. So uh, tomorrow, I'm supposed to get my uh, two 54 inch extensions. So we can go another 108 inches up into the boat. Putting us at a total of 132 inches, which should put us past any screw holes that are in the floor of the boat where any water intrusion could occur. And we'll see what happens. Next, I've gone to the hardware store and got some three, actually half inch PVC with a reducer into my shop vac. And I'm now taping it together. I'm gonna tape it nice, get a nice air, airtight seal and then put this long vacuum attachment up into the uh, holes that I drilled. <laughs> So we got a piece of half inch PVC and we got it reduced down and uh, electrical taped to create a nice suction. And then on the other end, we've got a 45 on there. So if there's any uh, difficulty getting through, I can twist the pipe and it helps it out a little bit. So let's, let's put it in there. <laughs> feel feel air coming from this hole and it's pushing some water extra water out this is a little trickier part it took a little while to design this but I'm using a half inch end cap and then a typical blower and using a uh, basically a filler as if you would put um, air into a tire. I've screwed it into this end cap and now I'm going to glue it to the end of the PVC pipe. Mm -hmm. All right, just a little, I guess you could use any kind of PVC cement. I didn't have any, but this Gorilla Glue works really good and fast. So a little glue, put the cap back on, and then put my cap on, and now it's time to try it out. All right. All right, so here goes nothing. So get this started back again. that it 
goes. and just let it do its thing for a little while. And come over to this side. Don't feel much coming out, but we'll see. Now it's about time to uh, finally install these garbage drains. As you'll notice, I decided against the ones with the ball I had originally purchased due to the fact that the ball I thought would have a better chance of getting clogged up if there was foam and goo that was trying to get out later on. So uh, also I wanna be able to potentially blow air into here and the ball would not allow air to go in, just like it stops water from going in, it would also stop air. So I went with the uh, basic version of these. I think it'll be fine. So let's drill some pilot holes. I got my number eight brass screws this morning. I think I'm uh, 330, using 330 seconds. Drill bit. Okay, next I'm uh, gonna be applying some 3M 5200 Marine Adhesive Sealant. According to instructions, it's best to rough up your fiberglass a little bit. So I'm gonna do that with a uh, 1000 grit sanding pad, just a little bit. Okay, then to make sure it's perfectly clear and clean, I'm going to clean it with this denatured alcohol. For the 5200, I put on the little tip, cut it, and I am going to install it around here and also on each hole just to make sure.
Okay, one update after breaking off about four of the uh, brass screws, I have decided to go stainless. So although they will be slightly different in color, they are much, much stronger. I've already done the, the drain on the right side with success. So I'm gonna take these out because I was never able to tighten it down like I wanted to. And I did decide to go with one size bigger. Then a little denatured alcohol and clean her up. All right, that's good. And then after it sets up a little while, I'll put these drains in for good. But for now, this one is coming to a close.